Good morning from Pennsylvania. It is what did what's the day? Today is 523 May 23rd, 2019. It is just a gorgeous day in Pennsylvania. And I am driving around because uh, I'm on my way to work and I wanted to make a video talking about mental health because that's what I usually talk about. But the title of this video is Mental Disorder or Autoimmunity. And the reason I titled it that was mental disorders and autoimmune conditions have a lot of overlap that people don't always recognize. And almost everyone that has a mental disorder typically has an immune system problem or there's usually crossover there. Or they have some type of autoimmunity related symptoms but then again in today's world pretty much everybody has some weird symptom of autoimmunity they just don't realize or there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, symptoms that are just being lumped into oh it's just autoimmunity um, when really I think it's just your immune system responding to toxic elements and giving you symptoms like MS and um, just different types of nervous system problems that you that are typically associated with something more serious but anyway um, I wanted to encourage you guys to look up the links between autoimmunity and mental illness and the overlap there because I find it to be extremely intriguing how much overlap there is um, Terry Wall she talks a lot about autoimmunity and um, she's the one that came up with the walls protocol if you've ever heard of it it's basically a nine cups of fruits and vegetables a day, uh, organic meats that you eat at night, and you avoid pretty much all um, highly processed food. It's like a paleo, it's a modified paleo diet. There's no grains, it's pretty much all fresh fruits and vegetables, organic grass-fed meats, bone broth, probiotics, just like this really healing diet. But the results from it are incredible, and why it interests me is like, Everything that I've seen in the world of mental health as far as people being 100% healed or their symptoms are in remission and they're really doing well, uh, they all go on some form of this diet, which is like more or less um, a largely ketogenic diet. And Tony Robbins, interestingly enough, he is on a ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet, um, traditional ketogenic diet is you're eating a lot of organ meats, you're eating a lot of meat other than just the muscle meat of an animal and you're eating a lot of vegetables and things that are in season it's pretty much it's more or less what you can forage you're not eating a lot of grains you're eating a crap ton of animal products and fats but you're also eating a crap ton of vegetables too so um, if you're ever interested look up Tony Robbins look at look at his research because he pretty much adheres to a paleo like low carb heavy vegetables he tried to go vegan but he couldn't do it but he basically eats like very healthy meats lots of vegetables and you know it's freaking tony robbins so i don't really need to say i mean this guy's brilliant if you follow tony robbins he's he's about being the best and he's about finding the best ways to live and he recommends pretty much a um a low carb a low carb diet um, with lots of vegetables and you know healthy meats and all that stuff so anyway I've got to go but I wanted to peek your brain a little bit and put it out there that researching Google the links between autoimmunity and mental illness and the overlap there and I think you'll find it extremely intriguing and maybe maybe it'll help solidify in your mind that wow like a lot of my issues could be related to my immune system and reactions and just having a gut di diabolesis and, and you know poor digestion and inflammation. But look up Terry Walls, look up the Walls Protocol, tell me what you think. Alright, have a great day.